Good morning, guys. Day 319. Hmm. Almost uh, noon, actually. Um, well, it still counts as morning, so, uh, yeah, it's still a.m. Uh, Saturday, just a lazy day. And, um, yeah, I don't think there's really going to be any plan for today. No shopping, no uh, laundry or anything. Probably some cleaning, but that's about it. And Netflix. Uh, in fact, I just watched uh, Transylvania. Transylvania. Wow. What a movie. Uh, let's just say, I can't believe I actually wanted to see that movie when it was in theaters. I don't think I have ever given anything on uh, Netflix a low score. Uh, in terms of rating, until I saw this movie. Actually, were there others? Hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong, there were some funny parts, and, but most of the movie was like... You know how there are movies where there are scenes that are just so awkward, you're like, Oh, no, no, why am I watching this? No, I can't watch this. That's too embarrassing even to watch. You know, something like that. Um, this movie has a lot of that. So, uh, yeah. Not that enjoyable at all. So, I mean, who knows? There are, there are people who might like that, but no. No. That just kills the mood every time. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, I don't know, maybe work on some videos, who knows. But, uh, you know, actually, I think I might take care of today's useless facts a little early, just because there's nothing else to do today. So, uh, useless facts coming right up in just a moment. Alright, so, today's useless facts are going to be on tobacco. You. In 1557, European doctors recommended smoking to fight bad breath and cancer. Really? Okay, cancer, I think I can forgive them because it's 1557, but bad breath? Alright, seriously, show of hands, who actually thinks tobacco smells good? Sir Francis Bacon creator of the scientific method, admitted that it was difficult to quit smoking in 1610. Hmm. Well, he may be disappointed to know, in 400 years, it's still very difficult. In 1776, Americans used tobacco as collateral for French loans to subsidize payment for the American Revolution. Philip Morris's cigarette mascot was once a tattooed sailor, before changing to the Marlboro Man in 1963. Hmm. Okay, so they trade Sailor for Cowboy. Because one was not rugged enough. I think, right? Let's see, 1960s. Uh. Were sailors viewed as gay back then? Because mm. if that was the case on uh, uh, why they changed it from sailor to cowboy, uh, I wonder if they've seen Brokeback Mountain yet. Invented in England in 1774, the tobacco resuscitation kit was used to revive victims of drowning by introducing warmth and stimulation to the apparently dead victim. Bellows were used to inject tobacco smoke up the rectum hmm, or into the lungs through the mouth and nose. Hmm. 
you save them by introducing them to death. So glad it's not the 1774 uh, 70s anymore. Yeah. The use of tobacco products not only lead to a number of health problems and diseases, but smokers can also develop bad breath. Remember the first uh, fact there? Black hairy tongues. Really? Hmm. Ground down teeth and receding gums. And people still want to use tobacco. Why? Because it's cool. Anyway, that does it for today's useless facts. Tomorrow we have toilet paper. This is actually amazing. I think I may actually like this version better than the original. Uh, yeah, this is really amazing. Uh, this uh, pair of sisters here um, singing Gundam style uh, acoustics uh, cover. Um, if you guys want to check them out, they're called uh, J.S. Lee. Uh, and I'll put the link down below. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, just, I don't know, I just, I was just looking for covers and uh, they came up and it's like, holy crap, they're amazing. Anyway, um, uh, it's almost over. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, that's right, there's just some, uh, tag thing going on, uh, I guess it's called, uh, Evil Asks. Uh, and I saw Murder Nurse and... Uh, Nana Batiel uh, doing it. It wasn't last night, it was the night before. And so I figured, you know what, why not? I'll give this a try. I got nothing better to do today. Except maybe editing videos, and, and I've actually been doing that today. Uh, so I figured I'd take a break and take a look at the uh, evil asks. So, here we go. Um, I'll even leave a link down below for this as well in case you decide you want to try it. Um, any of you, I guess. And so, anyway, I'm wasting time. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. So, Evil Ask on Tumblr. So, and it's a series of questions. Uh, I think it's 26 questions. So, uh, and honest answers, right? Okay. There you go. Evil Ask asks if you could get away with one murder in your lifetime without any legal social or emotional repercussions would you kill someone yes is it scary that I didn't even have to think about that or the fact that I could say it with such a straight face anyway um what is your first thought when you receive a message on Tumblr? Are you excited for the idea of someone from potentially the other side of the world wanting to talk to you or fearful that someone will criticize you? Neither, because I do not have a Tumblr account. Ha <laughs> ha! But hypothetically, if I did have a Tumblr account, I'd be like... Not so much fearful, but more um, uh, skeptical. There we go. Uh, skeptical. Skeptical. Jeez, why am I uh, mixing up my words here? Uh, skeptical of the person and their intentions of uh, messaging me. But seriously, I have gotten messages before from people I did not know, and almost a hundred percent of the time they have been just something automated let's just say automated or full of 
scam. I don't even uh, know how to. I'm just uh, supposed to word that, but yeah. So uh, if I did get hypothetically, if I did get a message on Tumblr from someone, I would think nothing of it. And moving on. I'm not even supposed to be pausing. Jeez. I'm uh, think. <laughs> This is what I do when I do my uh, useless facts. I'll say a fact and then I'll pause to give myself time in the editing so that I could cut that out and then go to the uh, next fact so that I have time to read it and, you know, present it. And But this, uh, I'm not reading it uh, beforehand. I have to answer it right away. So, <clears throat> no more pausing for me. Okay, so where was I? Okay, this is the third one, right? Have you ever looked down on someone because you thought your religious views are su were superior? Yes. Of course, I uh, do not have a religious uh, view, so uh, zero times zero would be... No, zero times anything is zero. So, my religious view is zero. So, religious view times anything? Zero. So, I have never once felt my religious views were superior. Ha! Next one. Would you rather know everything the universe has to offer, but in exchange, lose all emotions or remain the way you are now? Hmm. Know everything the universe has to offer. Or s and lose all emotions, or stay the way that I am now. Let's know everything that the universe has to offer. You know, I always am striving to be more Vulcan. Actually, that's not entirely true. I strive to be more Romulan, but Vulcan's good. And uh, let's see. Moving on. Where are we? You see, they don't even number these. They lettered them A, B, C, D, E. Okay, I'm on E, right. Here we go. If you could live and be healthy without sleeping or eating slash drinking, which would you cut out of your life? Hmm. So much that you can accomplish if you didn't have to sleep. Sleep is for the weak. And I rather do enjoy eating and drinking, so... I can do without sleep. Thank you very much. Uh, provided that I'll uh, live and stay healthy for the rest of my life. Yeah. Next, if you could take on the ex, Ooh. if you could take on the exact body and form of anyone else on Earth, who would it be? If you could take on the exact body and form of anyone else on Earth. Oh, that's a tough one. Because it's not saying if you could take their body. It's just uh, it's, um, implying if you could replicate their body on yourself. And, uh, oh, this is a really tough one. There are so many good looking people uh, in this world that I wouldn't mind looking like. Ah. Ah. I don't know. Uh, ladies, what actors do you, um, uh, well, you know, fantasize about most? That person. Okay, uh, moving on. <clears throat> Would you rather burn or freeze to death? Freeze, please. I do not like the warmth. I do not like being burned. Also, have you ever seen ice mummies? Those uh, things get preserved so, so well because of the fr uh, freezing cold. So yeah, I'd like to be preserved in cryogenics, please. I, mean, I know that isn't, isn't exactly going to work that way, but hey, I'll be preserved in some way rather than cremated. Next, 
<clears throat> if it meant it would solve all world hunger, war, disease, and bigotry, would you spend the rest of eternity in hell? Nope. <laughs> uh, no. No, absolutely not. Um, I believe in uh, uh, humanity. All right? I believe that uh, we um, humans have the uh, capability to bring on a world without hunger, war, disease, and bigotry. Without the need of uh, supernatural intervention. I mean, just look at Star Trek. You know? Uh, I know it's fiction. But if we could um, uh, say that that is an indication of where human evolution is heading. Yeah, I have faith in uh, humanity. Next was the first crush in your life something you had or something someone had on you? I think it's something that I had. I don't think anyone's ever had a crush on me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely not one of those uh, people you get crushes on. Ah, my self-esteem just keeps getting higher and higher. Next. Mm. Could you live without having sex ever again in exchange for eternal youth? I do not want to live forever, let alone uh, remain young forever. Uh, I mean, people are already saying that I look young for my age, so... Also, no sex ever again? No thanks. Next. Have you ever watched a full-length pornographic movie? <sighs> to answer that, I would like to uh, quote something. I am the greatest pirate ever. Okay. Um, if you don't know that movie, then uh, I'll just say yes. I have seen a full pornographic movie. Full length. Alright? Cool. Next. The Beatles or the Rolling Stones? Mm, that's easy. Beatles. Seeing as I have never heard anything from the Rolling Stones. Which is kind of weird, I know. So many people have heard songs by the Rolling Stones. I'm one of the very few rare ones who have never heard one Rolling Stones uh, song. So, I'll say Beatles. Maybe I should look up something the Rolling Stones after this. Anyway, next, if you could have the ability to manipulate matter or energy, which would you choose? Well, if you could have the ability to manipulate matter or energy, which would you choose? <laughs> ah, good thing I was a physics major, because they're both the same thing. So, I could go with either matter or energy, because they can be converted. Ha! Science! Next. What was the worst nightmare you ever had? Worst nightmare I ever had. You know, I think uh, we need some kind of a scale or criteria for judging on what constitutes as the worst nightmare ever. And in my mind, what constitutes as the worst nightmare ever would be one that actually wakes me up. Because for the past 10, maybe 15 years that I can remember, any time I've had a nightmare, I would not wake up from it. Most people who have nightmares wake up from their nightmares. I do not. So I could be getting killed, drowning to death, falling to my death, or whatever. I will not wake up from it. I will um, just live it out right to the very end. And then it will be all blank, and I'll be into the next dream sequence. So, 
Um, if it can wake me up, it's the worst uh, nightmare ever. And to this day, there is only one dream that has ever been able to do that to me. And I believe I was four years old at the time. Um, my, uh, we were, uh, family and I, we were uh, in the car. Uh, we're on this, uh, on the highway, and it's like this really tight turn, all right? And so we're making this really, really tight turn on the highway, and I am thrown out of the car. So, yeah, that was the worst nightmare I've ever had. Being thrown out of the car and my parents not caring. That's the rest of it. So... Thanks for making me really love that. Moving on. <clears throat> Would you rather spend one year with your one true love just to never see them again? Or the rest of your life with second best? One year with the one true love and never see them again. Or the rest of your life with second best. You know, I've given up on uh, finding my one true love a long time ago, so I'll say second best for the rest of my life. After all, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be someone else's second best, so. Yeah. Confidence! Next. Hmm. All the sequels, remakes, adaptations, rip-offs in movies nowadays, good or bad? Good. Good, 88% of the time. Bad, 12% of the time. Yeah. Next. Would you rather be dirt poor and emotionally fulfilled in life, or be rich beyond imagination and emotionally dissatisfied for life? Make me rich. Make me rich. I'm pretty sure that would make my family happy. And uh, whatever makes them happy would be enough for me. Because I'm sick and tired of them being dissatisfied with me, so... Uh, I would rather them uh, not bother me for the rest of my life. Well, that's kind of a mean thing to say, but I mean, you know what I mean, right? Bother me as in bother me with negativity. If they're going to bother me, I'd rather they bother me um, uh, in the Brady Bunch kind of way, I think. Next. Would you rather... Oh, hold on. No, that's not the wrong one. Uh, that's... Uh, do you have any secret feelings of bigotry to any group of people? Secret? Nope. And I do like uh, Murder Nurses and uh, Nana Vatiel's uh, answer to this one. Uh, they do not uh, have any secret bigotry because they are v pretty uh, open about who they do not like. And I agree with them on the group that uh, I do not particularly like and they do not like. Westboro Baptist Church. Moving on. <clears throat> Would you rather be the only person in the world that can read minds or have everyone else in the world be able to read minds except for your own? So, let's see. Would I rather be the only person in the world who can read everyone's minds or live in a world of telepaths but no one can read my mind?
You know, I would much rather be the one who can read everyone else's minds. Just imagine the power I could have over everyone. But not only that, but if I lived in the world of telepaths, but they could not read my mind, they will still be able to t communicate with each other. And if I cannot uh, know what they are planning on against me, I'm screwed. So, I would much rather be on the preemptive side. Yep. Paranoid! Next. If everyone in the world would automatically only know one language, which language would you choose? Klingon. Yep. And someone just messaged me. Do, 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 do. Uh, anyway. Um, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, that's right. I just said Klingon. Yes, I would like the entire world I would like the entire world to all of a sudden automatically know Klingon. Although Vulcan and uh, Romulan would be very, very interesting choices also. But Klingon, definitely. Next. Um, let's see, where am I? Mm -hmm. Okay, there I am. Damn, the flip stopped recording. Oh, okay, so where did I leave off? Uh, where did it stop recording? Um, okay, so I stopped recording at the, um, after the language thing. Alright, uh, let's see. If you were old enough and not in a situation where it would be inappropriate, would you sleep with one of your past school teachers slash professors? If you were old enough. Well, was this uh, written for teens? Anyway, um... Hmm, if I was, if it was not inappropriate, past school teachers, yep, there has definitely been a few. Next, a world without religion, good, bad, neutral, really? Do I really have to answer that one? Well, I guess I do. <sighs> F yes. And now I have to edit that one out. Anyway, moving on. The men's rights movement. Legitimate cause or laughable and why? Ah. <sighs> Well, first of all, apologies to my gender and sex. Um, but, uh, are you guys serious? For real? Look, we've had our uh, time in the spotlight. Let the women have it now. Or better yet, okay, no, I can see why, uh, the whole men's rights movement is in existence right now, but honestly, uh, I do not think it's legitimate. I think it's just the uh, men being whiny about women becoming more equal and in some cases surpassing men in uh, you name it, uh, finance, sports, 
whatever else uh, has traditionally been a male dominated position, you know. Um, I think men are just threatened by that. And so this happens. Men's rights movement. You guys can't possibly seriously think that people are going to uh, support this. Well, then again, once again I apologize to my gender and sex. Men are stupid. Especially when it comes to competing against a sex slash gender that has in their mind always been weaker and so once again it's uh, it's just uh, um, in my honest opinion men just feel threatened by the rising power of uh, women so yeah it's laughable mm. and let's bring on the hate now moving on you can eliminate one of your five senses to substantially strengthen the others which one would you do it which one would you do it which one and which oh which one and would you do it I completely skipped the entire middle part huh all right Tust, tust, touch, sight, hearing, smell, taste. Of those five basic senses, which one would I eliminate if it will uh, substantially strengthen the other four? Hmm. I'll go with smell and uh, here's why have you ever smelled shit? not very pleasant have you ever smelled a skunk not very pleasant have you ever smelled a rose and while some people say a uh, rose may smell sweet they smell horrible to me I don't know why. I think I'm, my sense of smell may be defective when it comes to floral scents, but they don't smell good to me. So, um, and I understand that evolutionarily speaking, our sense of smell did more than tell us what uh, is good, what smells good, um, and what smells bad. It told us, at least in terms of sex, um, whether a, a certain a woman would be the right match for you based on their pheromones. And that was done through our sense of smell. But these days, we all use scented body wash and uh, body sprays. You know, so, and perfume, cologne, that just messes up with, messes with the whole uh, purpose of being able to smell pheromones. We can't detect pheromones anymore because we mask them, thus tricking the opposite sex into believing that we are their perfect match. And then and, uh, you end up with... Uh, how do I put this? Genetic defects. Because you are not mating with the person you are best, com most compatible with. Now then, with that being said, yes, sense of smell. That would be the one that I would drop. But would I actually do it? Probably not. 
I still enjoy the scent, uh, the smell of a steak and baked potatoes and chicken. Moving on. Uh, do looks mean anything to you? Don't lie. Could you fall in love with someone you thought was ugly? Uh, do looks mean anything to you? And I'm sorry to say this, but yes. And despite how you may answer, they matter to you as well. All right. Uh, anyone who says uh, looks do not matter to them is lying, cause they do. The difference is what they see as beautiful and what they see as ugly may be completely different from what I see as beautiful and what I see as ugly. All right. So we all see beauty uh, differently, and we all see ugliness differently. Like in uh, Shallow Hal, okay, he uh, went from seeing only surface beauty to seeing inner beauty. Whereas everyone else around him saw surface beauty and saw outer ugly. You know? And uh, I feel that that is how uh, it is for everyone. We all see things differently. There is no way, one way, to measure beauty, despite what uh, the Miss America pageants, the Miss Universe, or uh, Cosmo, Men's Magazine, Playboy, what a, a Red Book, whatever. Despite what they all may claim is beauty, everyone sees it differently. I mean, you could um, uh, probably uh, uh, look at, um, I don't know, uh, give me a name, uh, someone, um, Jennifer Lawrence. You may see uh, Jennifer Lawrence as beautiful, but people, I don't know, in Russia or Australia or even me, we might not see her as beautiful. Which is not true. Uh, I do see her as a very um, uh, beautiful young woman, and but that's not the point, is it? Okay, that might have been a really bad example, but uh, okay, here's one: Sarah Jessica Parker. A lot of people say horse face. I personally don't understand why. Um, I don't think she's a bad-looking person. So, uh, yeah, uh, this is going on way longer than I thought it was going to. So, uh, next and final question. Mm. Can you understand the mindset and logic used by the, oppo mm. the opposite spiritual opinion? Uh, and it looks like they have an example here. An atheist understanding the belief in a higher power and vice versa. Uh, can you understand the mindset or logic used by the opposite spiritual opinion? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Um, personally, I am an atheist, but I do understand why... Uh, People uh, of the uh, Catholic religion or the Christian religion or uh, the Jewish, um, the, you know, uh, Buddhist and whatever. I can understand where they're coming from. And uh, I mean, I can even understand where the Westboro Baptist Church is coming from. They're just plain idiots. But everyone else has um, a good logical reason for believing in what they believe in, and I can respect them for that. I guess I can even forgive Westboro Baptist Church because they are stupid. And that does it for the 26th 
evil asks questions. That took way longer than I had intended for it to take, and so with that, I don't think there's any more space in today's vlog. Um, theoretically, there could be, but I don't think you guys want to sit through an hour long vlog. So uh, I'll just sign off today and uh, talk to you guys tomorrow.